There were many Goemon games made before Konami stopped caring. All but four released only in Japan. Of those four, most people love the SNES one. Many have good memories of the two on N64, and nobody seems to remember the Game Boy one. My favorite out of all of them, however, is the third Super Famicom one. Like many of the others, it has a really long title, but I'll leave it at Ganbare Goemon 3 to save time. The Goemon series changed up its gameplay fairly often, and here it uses a Zelda-like adventure style mixed with action platforming like its most recent predecessors. Ganbare Goemon 2 was also quite good, but it was occasionally very frustrating. This game remedies that in two ways. First, the stages are more puzzle-heavy and methodical. Second, Goemon Impact is used more sparingly, and those fights, while just as impressive here, are not as hair-pullingly hard. Yae is also playable now, and you can switch between characters at any time. They each have their own weapon, secondary weapon, and special techniques. Goemon can throw money, Ibisumaru uses a hula hoop to cling to things, Sasuke throws bombs to break blocks, and Yae can turn into a mermaid and swim. You get to use ride armor, somewhat similar to Magitek armor in Final Fantasy VI, or at least that's what I think of when I see them. They're not limited to the overworld either, you get to summon them inside of the side-scrolling stages too. There are also some cameos from other Konami franchises. Notably, Shiori Fujisaki from Tokimeki Memorial runs the travel agency here. The graphics, music and control is all great here, and I like how both the overhead parts and the side-scrolling parts get equal time in the spotlight. The story is fun too and has many fun moments, which you can enjoy now thanks to a great English patch by DDS Translation. It's also quite a long game, it takes about 4-5 to five hours to beat, so there's a save system instead of passwords. The last couple of dungeons are hard and do offer some frustration, but by then you should be invested enough to persevere. This is just a great game in all regards, and comes highly recommended.